Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Gonna be one of the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Push on these spots to make your TMJ pain go away. And we're talking about trigger points, Brad. There you go. Let's find out where they are because there's some people that really could use this information. Yeah, and again, we're talking about pain that you're having in your jaw, or around the face, and, and that's what we hope to take away today. By the way, if you are new to our oh, channel, yeah. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go over to the Facebook and like us because Bob and Brad, right here we are. If you like us, we will send out some positive vibes to you. Mm -hmm. See that camera shaking? Maybe oh, we shouldn't shake the camera. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, so we're talking about trigger point therapy. Uh, trigger points are kind of a hyper irritable spot in the muscle, and you got them all over your whole body. Right. And, and uh, they're hypersensitive. When you push on them, they, they're hurt. They, they actually feel pain. That's why they're trigger, they call them trigger points. Right, and we're trying to get those trigger points to release. We're trying to get them to go away. So we're gonna massage them is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna try to keep the massage fairly relatively short. You're just gonna do 10 to 12 strokes uh, over the muscle, uh, over the, t right. over the trigger, trigger point. And, and with that, it should release. But we're gonna, you know, there's trigger points um, you know, there's four on, on this one and there's seven on this one. We'll get into that. Right. And, but, you know, this information is something that's been well researched and studied. And, and Bob has even done uh, quite a bit of research and reading. Our, some yeah, research. this is based on the work of Janet Travell and David Simmons. Um, and they were actually, they've been in, uh, stu they studied this over their lifetime. Sure. They're both passed away since, but they dedicated their lives to it. And uh, this book is actually based upon the, their work. But okay. it's by Claire Davies and Amber Davies. It's sure. called the Trigger Point Therapy Work Work uh, Workbook. Right. The Trigger Point Therapy Workbook. I got it out. Yeah, we got to get that speech therapist. Third edition. Going. Yeah. So, anyways, we're going to talk about these muscles where we're going to actually do this massage. It's relatively simple and it doesn't take a long time. That's right. You can just take and you can do it throughout the day. Actually. Sure. So we got two muscles here that are can often be affecting your TMJ. We got the temporalis. Which you know is by the temple bone, which you know makes sense yep. by the temple. Spread out, so, broad, thin muscle. Right, and it actually goes around here. It does attach into the mandible here, into the jaw, um, and then we also have. What's nice about this model here, we can actually the muscles are really well delineated. We didn't introduce Sam. Oh, Sam, the super skeleton. Yeah, I don't know what makes him super, but yeah, whatever. He's a nice guy. So anyway, we got the red one, which is the temporalis, and then the blue one is the masseter. So either one of these can send pain into that TMJ. Okay. If we're talking about the temporalis, it actually can send pain. It can give you headaches too. Right. Headaches on the frontal area right. and on the side. If we're talking about the masseter, that can actually give you pain above your eye, below your eye, and over the TMJ again. Kind of by the ear. Temporal mandibular right. joint. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So um, basically the jaw joint. Right. <laughs> if you, yeah, if you Palpate right there by your ear hole there, go like that. It's very clear where it is. Both of them. Actually, if you clench your teeth, you can feel it here. You can feel that one working. Right. And if you clench your teeth, you can feel sure. the masseter working. But I mean, the actual joint itself. Oh, right. You can yeah. feel the joint yeah. Yeah, moving. It's exactly. a small joint, actually. So it's kind of strange, but we're have you going to work on these muscles to help decrease the pain on the joint, and we're going to work on this, this muscle to decrease the pain at the joint. Right. As well as... The other referred pains and the headaches and whatnot. Right. So the pain, there's four uh, main uh, uh, trigger, trigger points. Trigger points. Yeah, That's what we're lost, talking about. lost thought of it here for, for a second. Um, on the uh, mass, on the temporalis. Right. Four so, main ones. So the blue points are the trigger points, or, yeah. you know, that's their. There's actually seven on the masseter, but I didn't put them all in there because one, I had blue tape, and two, I wouldn't even be able to get seven dots on there. I mean, on right? The, they're pretty close together. Believe me, you're you're going to hit them with the techniques that we're going to show you. So we're going to go ahead and sit down. We're going to go ahead. Brad's going to show a frontal view. I'm going to show a side view, and so we got the temporalis muscle right here again. For me, actually, it's there's a little bit of dent here. I don't know what that means that I have a little dent in my head. Yeah, that's called oh. concaveitis. Yeah, <laughs> concaveitis. All right, so you can take your fingers. You can actually support them with the other fingers. And, and you can just, you know, you work around, way around and find that tender spot. And you're just going to massage it, like I said, 10 to 12 times. You can do this three to six times a day. Are we going like, to make circles, Bob? Yeah, make uh, small little circles okay. massaging. I found that one there. Uh, that, that, there's a trigger point for me. So when you find one, you, you'll feel it's a little uh, tighter area. 
And it's a little more tender, and when you hit that spot, it'll uh, you know, be uncomfortable. Yeah, I remember, there's four right along here. So we're gonna go ahead and work along on that area. So we got supported fingers, you support, mm. and you kind of lean into it, don't you, Brad? Right. Now remember, t Bob said 10 to 12 strokes, so you're not gonna spend three or four minutes doing this, that's overdoing it, it's, it's relatively quick. And also, the, the amount of pain you should feel, because it, it is a little bit painful when mm -hmm. you do these, and you should feel the pain release. I wouldn't go above a five out of 10. So a 10 is the worst pain you've ever experienced. Right. Zero is no pain, so we're halfway in between here. So it's, it's a it, fair amount of pain. It's uncomfortable, but, but not and, it's terrible gonna, and it's gonna release as you do it more. So it, the pain right. should go down as you work that muscle. So let's go to the masseter now. Okay. So then. the masseter again goes from, you know, kind of the cheekbone here down to the jawline here. Right. So we're gonna go and same thing, we're gonna take the fingers, supported mm -hmm. fingers, and we're gonna work, uh, uh, you know, small little areas there, find the tender spots. Mine aren't too bad. So I, I, I don't really have, the trigger points aren't really fired up on me to a large extent. Now you can clench your jaw if you wanna feel, like Brad said, you can actually see it sometimes on people. You said you could see it a little bit on me? Yeah, like some people chewing gum, you could just see yeah, that mess or right. going to town. You know, there might be life, time gum chewers and it really built that muscle up. You know who has a really big masseter? Who is that? Horses. Horses do. Yeah, look, they just got a bulging master. It's incredible. I like the massage. Which makes sense. Yeah, I yeah. bet you they get that massage sometimes by, you know, if you got a lot of money in a horse. Why? So they can <laughs> make keep better? a happy horse. <laughs> you want your horse happy. All right, so now, in addition to doing the outside, you can actually massage this uh, muscle from the inside. A right. little bit icky maybe, huh? Well, uh, what would you call when, it? when Bob says we're gonna do this, I says, I'll watch you, but then actually I, I tried it and it really does allow you to get a yeah, feel really for that right muscle. Into the muscle. Yeah, yep. so you keep your mouth closed mm -hmm. and you're gonna reach inside with your finger and then tighten, out, you're tighten it up and you'll feel it then. You'll feel that muscle mm -hmm. against the cheekbone and you can actually use the other hand as a uh, finger as support and you're gonna get in there and you're gonna massage. See. Yeah, you're actually getting on each side of the muscle and you really get a thorough massage. And, you know, like Bob said, you can feel that muscle very clearly. Yeah, I actually feel the trigger points a lot easier mm -hmm. doing the inside, the mouth technique. Mm -hmm. Like we said, you probably don't want to do this in public. People are going to talk about you. And yeah, especially at a restaurant, it's no good. But yeah, do it at home. Uh, yeah, you know, people are going right, uh, to think you're picking your teeth or something like that. So. <laughs> oh, just a massage. All right, well, I hope that helps. I hope that helps decrease your jaw pain. You know, these muscles, if they're tight, they're going to pull on the jaw harder. They're going to give right. you increased stress. It's amazing how sometimes it's, it's not the jaw itself, but the muscles around it that are giving you trouble. So. Right, because they influence that mechanics. Oh, what? without, right. Yeah, one thing we failed to mention is that masseter actually, when that's fired up, it can actually, the one cause is the locked jaw, where you can't open your mouth. Right, it gets locked up, and you get those muscles to relax, so things go back where they need to. Yeah, we've seen where patients, you know, wake up and they're like, I can't open my jaw. And maybe the day before they were at the dentist and had their mouth open for a long time. Sure. You know? yep. And chewing gum, by the way, is not good for your jaw. Um, you, you know, it's something that if you are having trouble with your jaw, you want to avoid. Sure. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching.